Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECMW extended model for today's second video. So uh, we're going uh, six weeks ahead, 42, day, 42 days uh, with the ECMWF. We'll look at uh, mean cell pressure, 500 millibar heights, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks. It takes us into the second half of October. And I'll get on with that for you very shortly. Just say about the first video release at 7 a.m. Upload. We've got weekend forecast coming up for you uh, shortly. And then that will be followed by a 10 to 14 day. But we include all of the regular features. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for supplying uh, the charts. It's nearly a year now since uh, these became publicly available will be a year in October uh, hasn't man that gone quickly amazing uh, before that these charts were not publicly available so thank you so much to ecmwf.int for supplying uh, these charts right uh, we're focusing on the UK and Ireland uh, for this one we do have a wider European outlook with the six weeks mole uh, on a Tuesday so this is the uh, week one uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly uh, which is going to be taking us let's have a look from the uh, 20th 27th of September right so the coming week looks unsettled for the UK and Ireland and for Western Europe as well, with low pressure in off the Atlantic. High pressure has been bringing all of the hot and dry weather uh, to Western Europe over the past uh, few weeks. That's receding back uh, into uh, northern parts of uh, Scandinavia and Russia. So we're looking unsettled. Uh, jet stream coming south as well. So, uh, yes, low pressure in the ascendancy. The 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, for next week is unsettled too with below average heights over to the west of the UK and Ireland and in the Atlantic as well. Temperature anomaly is still holding up just about above average. So uh, yes, it's still relatively mild or warm. Uh, we're around uh, one degree above average. So not a particularly big deviation, not as hot as it has, as it has been. Um, but nevertheless, a bit on the above average side of temperatures. And precipitation is wetter than average, as you'd expect, with low pressure in off the Atlantic into the UK and Ireland. Yes, we see above average rainfall. So quite a wet week coming up. Uh, next week. Right, let's have a look at week 2, 27th of September to the 4th of October. Still looking a little bit a little bit unsettled here actually, with an area of low pressure over the UK and Ireland. High pressure is pulled out into mid-Atlantic and going up towards Greenland. It's not only unsettled, it looks like it should be a bit cooler as well, maybe uh, a little bit on the chilly side uh, with that one. The 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, week 2 from uh, September into October again shows below average heights over the UK and Ireland combined with a mid-Atlantic ridge up towards Greenland. It looks unsettled and potentially a little bit cooler as well. Let's have a look at temperature anomaly. Has that come down? Let's have a look. So it is still actually ever so slightly above average, but it has referred uh, refer closer to average, revert, I should say, closer to average, near normal temperatures. I reckon that could be a bit on the cool side, though. I think that could be a little bit below average in reality, given the position of the trough and that mid Atlantic ridge. And it's still pretty unsettled as well. So rainfall is above average here as we go from September into October. So quite a cool, wet uh, end to September, beginning of October. Week 3 will be the 4th to the 11th of October. And we look like this. So uh, we send the high pressure down towards Spain and Portugal. Otherwise, we have near normal uh, pressure elsewhere. But I think it could still be some legacy of low pressure and maybe westerly zone uh, coming through from the Atlantic. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar high time. We still suggest like there could be a little bit of low pressure to the north of Scotland. So this could still be a relatively changeable week, actually. Not as unsettled as it is in weeks one and two, but probably still a little bit on the changeable and mixed side. The temperature anomaly for week three, <coughs> excuse me, is only around average. So definitely there's a bit of a cooling down process going on here as we move into October. Uh, not much of a signal for rainfall, but uh, maybe a little bit above average, if anything. So it could still be a little bit uh, mixed uh, that week three period. Week four is going to be the 11th to the 18th of October. Higher pressure beginning to develop uh, closer to the UK and to Ireland. So higher pressure beginning to move northwards across 
Western Europe might start to send a jet stream northwards and uh, bring up something a bit warmer from the Atlantic as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, week three looks like that. Uh, again, we've got high pressure out to our west. Uh, week four, I should say. High pressure out to our west. Uh, so, yeah, you know, probably turning into a drier period uh, here, really, for week four. Uh, week four temperature anomaly uh, goes a bit warmer as well. So this is all around a warmer, drier week, I think, as we go into the middle part of October. Not much of a signal for rainfall, but I would suspect it's getting a bit drier uh, in that week, if anything. So that's a slightly drier and warmer week. Uh, week 5 will be the 18th to 25th of October. No real signal then uh, at all for means of pressure. So I'll just put in uh, a couple of question marks because there's not enough there to draw any conclusions. The 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, week 5 looks like that with above average heights in the middle of the Atlantic. It might suggest a bit of a northwest southeast alignment to the wind flow and jet stream. So that, if anything, that, that would be like quite a cool sort of wind direction. Temperature anomaly is uh, close to average, possibly a little bit on the above average side to our north and uh, west. And the precipitation anomaly, again, not much of a signal, uh, to be honest. So we're getting very sketchy by the time we get through to the latter stages of uh, October. Uh, and then finally go through to week six, which is going to be the 25th of October to the 1st of November. Actually gets into November with this one uh, today. So uh, we have low pressure uh, to the north in the Norwegian Sea. High pressure is around France and down into Spain. So it just looks like we have a sort of flat westerly type flow here as we end October and go into the start of November, which is going to be relatively mild. 500 millibar height show above average heights sitting to our south, below average heights to our north northeast winds in from the west with that. So it should be relatively mild. The uh, week six temperature anomaly. Warm with an average, above average temperatures being predicted there for the end of October to the beginning of November. And the uh, precipitation only finally, again, not much of a signal. I would suspect we're in a classic north-south split by this point, probably drier in the south and wetter in the north. Uh, right then, so uh, yeah, we've got a clear trend here for the rest of September, which is unsettled and cooler. Into early October, probably still quite mixed to start off with. Maybe transitioning then around middle of the month into something a little bit drier and milder. And those dry and milder conditions probably lasting into the last stages of, of October as well. Uh, and then where we go beyond that, you know, remains to be seen. Right, so that's it for your EC 30 day, uh, no, that's it for your EC 42 day, uh, six weeks look ahead today. Uh, do it all over again uh, next week. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what Molly is showing today, so it could all look completely different uh, next week. Any forecast beyond five, seven days is uh, coming with big health warnings, uh, but that's how it looks today anyway. We'll be back later on with week head broadcast and also a 10 to 14 day, so check out uh, rest of today's videos. Uh, but for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.